Hello and welcome back to Shotgun King. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing an easy mode for fun, for fun and for completionism. Because because you know what I deserve a nice easy mode, because what comes next um, is hard mode, and that's that's gonna be a new hell for me. Honestly, normal mode, although it is easier than what the game used to be, is still very difficult, and uh, I'm not looking forward to. The game being even harder <laughs> that's just gonna be brutal um ammo regeneration and fire range increase spawn pawn uh pawn speed remove one knight add three pawns mm. Mm, i don't like any of these i guess i'll take this one i don't like uh i generally don't like increasing the pawn speed because that can create quite a lot of problems in the long run but I'll have to I'll have to go with it. We do have increased uh, fire range, so we can start hitting the king basically right away. Oh. There we go. Floor floor three already. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed the ending of this game. That was that was a lot of fun. Jump over a nearby piece to healing it. One damage at three pawns. This is really good, and I generally like it more than extra firepower. Pawns can attack on the first two squares in front of them. Don't like that, so we'll go with this one. The other one came with too many caveats. Extra pawns? I'm always okay with extra pawns. So now we can jump over pieces. Not something I've ever thought to do. And of course, I'm not going to be able to do it right now because everything's in threat, right? Um, like we can't, we can't do it now either. We could do it now, except I'm still in threat by the uh, king. So I don't know, you know, jumping over pieces seems very circumstantial. We could jump over it now. It does have one health. Oh, come on, let me jump over the king. Aha! <laughs> Goomba stomps the king. Now I'm just showing off. Your bullets pierce through one target. This is nice. Fire, oh, reduce fire arc. The nice thing about taking reduce fire arc uh, when you get the queen is because the, the queen, although it's forced on you to take the queen, that actually makes things nice is because you don't have to take a card you don't want because it's always going to be the queen, right? So you can base you actually have more freedom to choose a perk that you like. We have we right, right now have increased um or re, sorry, re, reduced fire arc with increased fire um fire range. And uh that's like you you couldn't really ask for better. All right, let's go here. We should be okay there. Oh, well, you know, should being um, one of those words that kind of means different things depending on the situation. All right. Good to check their health so that, you know, oh, you, you can just take them out. Well, this is definitely easier. Remove one pawn, add one bishop, negative one ammo max. Move one square further per knight soul owned. I don't like this one. And I don't like pawns can attack on the first two squares in front of them. Don't like that. So extra firepower it is. Our fire range is not quite enough to get to the edge of the board. We can do this though. Uh, I think if I move here, no, I want to move like here. No, I don't think there's anywhere I can go where the queen won't be able to find me. So I may as well move and then I can shoot, move and shoot, you know? And I think, I think uh, another thing that I'm learning is it's a really good idea to shoot at something that is about to move just to reduce the chances of being put in threat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move here. Oh. oh, okay. It still worked out. 
There we go. Jumping diagonally is kind of nice. In a way, jumping diagonally feels farther. 50% chance to knock enemy back, plus one ammo. Pawns can walk two squares on their first move. Mm. Rooks, negative two HP, add two pawns, add one rook. This is okay, and extra firepower is quite nice. So we have quite, quite the firepower now. Mm, I've freed the queen. A uh, questionable move. Oh, wow. That was an amazing hit on the king. That was, I would think that was pretty lucky. We do have reduced fire arc, so I mean, you know, that's, that's the ideal. Bullets pierce through one target, negative one firepower. We could do this. Increase bishops and pawn speed. I don't know if I can do that, though. All pieces, negative one speed, add two knights, add two rooks. Uh, let's go for this. I don't like it, but I think it's better than increased pawn speed. Because the thing is, is um, the, uh, the, the, you know, negative one speed, they're going to be so choked. Like, there's basically nothing they can do right now. They're, they're going to be, like, move once and then die. And then, and there's nothing, nothing they can do about it, basically. And we have kind of free reign on the king. We do have this queen to worry about, but remember, they have reduced speed. So she's going to move once, and then I'm going to, like, kind of navigate around her. Oh, we just did four damage to the king. Don't like this situation. Hmm, please don't tell me this is checkmate. Okay, we're gonna move here. We have to, oh, that's really, really frustrating. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this rook up here. Here's what I'm hoping for. Um, I'm gonna go here. Oh, they, I, I guess reducing their speed did actually help quite a bit in this regard. I need to get rid of some of these pawns. They're gonna be, in my way. What I'm hoping for is that basically both rooks are going to go um, on the same lateral as me. Yes. And that's actually ideal for me because um, now I can just very easily get out of the way. May as well get rid of some of these bishops. Okay. We do some damage. Oh, that was the last bit of damage we needed on the king. Perfect. You just, you do need to, it's, it's, it's tempting to, like, play, just, like, take turns, but that's how you lose, I think. Remove one pawn, add one knight, negative one ammo max. Non-king pieces can't come near your king. This is always great. Charge one additional shell in your royal shotgun. Interesting. The, I mean, this is nice, but it also increases our fire arc, so I think I'd prefer to have this one. This one's just better off overall. And we do have increased ammo, so we can um, afford to, to take that. I was just wondering if we could even hit anything. Look at how much damage we're doing to everything. If I go here, yeah, that, that uh, knight can still target us. Move back a bit. I'm going to move on the on the black square so that bishop can't threaten us. I think we can hit everything there, basically. And we should be able to kill the king right now, yeah. That reduced speed, oh man, it, it, like honestly, it, it helps so much. White king, negative three HP, could be good. Remove two pawns, add one rook, not great. Add two bishops. Plus six ammo max, white king, plus two HP. Don't like that. I'd rather take this. I'd rather take this. I don't like that it, we've, it reduces our fire range, but uh, what are you going to do? I don't want to reduce our pawns. Did I just reduce our pawns also? I did reduce our pawns. <laughs> but that's, I guess that's, I was, I was more comfortable with that than the other one. Oh. 
At least we get more chance to like, oh, if we hadn't killed the king there and, and it still hit that pawn, we would have lost. That would have been game over. Strafing, so good, but oh, look at that reduced. All pieces, negative one speed, add two. Oh, oh, I, that one's so good. They're gonna have even less speed. They're gonna be so choked. And we have the sniper shotgun again. Oh, yeah. Love it. Hmm, this is not ideal. Okay, we can we can get out of this. Um, hmm. I This is all we can do. There. We had like the perfect shot at the king. So this is going to be this looks like a pretty good um chance for a win here. King swap positions with a rook whenever he would take damage. Oh, that's not great considering they have like three rooks right now. Add two bishops at the start of turn 20. Yeah, I think I'd prefer to take this. Although I think we are on the boss, so maybe... No, we're not on the boss. So we are going to have to do do one more of this. We did increase our fire arc slightly, but it's it's okay. Yeah, I know it's, I'm in threat. I'm, I'm going to have to deal with that. Oh, no! Oh, I can't believe I lost on the last... On the last game. <sighs> there are so many rooks that... Killing one pawn just... Just... Was the final nail in the coffin. Oh, my God. That's really bad I lost on easy mode I mean listen the game's still hard but the way I lost was just like very unfortunate I was going too fast again increase spawn sp pawn speed don't like that at three pawns right click to throw a grenade increases bishops and pawn speed well honestly I kind of want to check out the grenade I've heard things about it the the grenade is apparently quite the thing. Let's try it. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. It, uh, it's an interesting idea. And it, the I guess the nice thing about it is it doesn't take from our currently loaded shells. It only takes from our max ammo. So if we had increased ammo like this, uh, uh, I don't like pikemen. Pikemen is bad. Subtle poison is very good. So I'll take that. Militia is not great. I'd rather have militia than pikemen though. And look at that, uh, that range is very good. Wow. It has a, uh, a, like a, a range of about three by three. So you could either get very lucky with it or very unlucky. All the same, I think that it's a very good weapon. So if we like throw it here, I'm pretty sure there's nowhere Oh wait a minute. It can kill it can kill us though. It can kill it can kill us. We uh we killed ourselves with our, our own grenade. With with our own grenade I killed myself though. Okay. 
doing? We're, we're uh, figuring out. Well, this is going to be a, honestly like a tutorial series for um, all of the ways that you can die and lose in shotgun chess. So now we have discovered how to die by grenade. Uh, you're welcome. A new pawn joins the fight every four turns. I like this one. August Presence is also, as I've said, one of the best. I think one of the best cards in the game. It also means we can kind of take um, things like bishops, or not bishops, uh, like rooks a little bit more free freely. Like we don't have to worry so much about um about rooks and like you know you see this situation like this where a pawn basically is paralyzed because they can't move forward is like really nice the the king not being able to move towards you is also very good gain one ammo each time you kill a pawn now this is excellent new pawn joins the fight every four turns okay Okay, all right, yeah. So we're gonna have two pawns every four turns, but we gain more ammo <clears throat> depending on uh, every time we kill a pawn. This is gonna be just just excellent. I can't wait to get checkmated by pawns. I miss our grenade. <clears throat> our grenade would be like perfect. What? How come the king can move towards us? Non-king pieces. Oh, right. You gotta read all of the text, by the way. That's a that's a, a shotgun king tip for you. You actually have to read the entire text on the card. That's a big simple tip in really tutorializing this game um, for you. Get rid of this queen. Queen, bad. Okay, we got rid of all of the worst threats. And the, uh, this August presence really nerfs pawns, doesn't it? Completely. Charge one additional shell, I love this. Remove one knight, add two bishops. Hmm, add two bishops at this, uh... I like this one. It's, it's, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say it's, it's great for us and we don't have any reduced arc yet. Um, but, you know, we're just, I'm going to make it work. And we'll just move here, and that way none of the pawns can move forward, and we can just shoot. This is great. This is ideal, because even though there's more pawns, they're basically just choking up the enemy line. Enemies can't move towards me, so the pawns just end up like getting pushed back and choke everything. Uh, add two bishops. No, this is great. Add two pawns, add one rook. That's fine. One, one additional rook, we can deal with that. The rooks are really um, hampered the most by the pawns because they end up like, oh wow. They end up uh, kind of taking a bath on movement completely. There we go. Basically, every, all of all, all, you just got to worry about all of the um, most dangerous pieces, and then you can can do whatever you want. The the field is yours. Extra charge, man. They really want us to have that. Remove one pawn. Add one bishop. Negative one ammo max. This is fine. Reduced fire arc is worth taking a lot, but that's honestly not the worst. Increased, um, oh, it's not increased. Remove one pawn, add one bishop. I mean, it, 
Oops, did not mean to do that. 100% did not mean to do that. Uh, I'm ending up in that situation where I can't basically do anything. We need to kill. If I move here, that bishop's not going to be able to move, like, in a way that'll threaten me. Ah, but that one can. Tempted to, like, try and shoot the king, but I really think I need to deal with um, some of this mess. can move there because that pawn's not going to be able to move. We can deal with everything that's currently, like, creating a nuisance for us. There we go. I mean, that was a little bit scary, I won't lie. But, um, I think, I think, uh, it worked out. Fire arc, ooh. Pawns plus one HP, remove one rook, add six pawns. This is a little bit scary, but that reduced arc, I love that sniper rifle shotgun. If we could get some extra damage, then, then this could be, like, game winning. There. Yeah. Just gotta create an opening right where the king is and then and then uh sniper kill them. Move one square further per knight soul owned. I don't like that. Increase bishops and pawn speed. Don't like that either. Jump over a no nearby piece, dealing it one damage. Bishops can move, not attack. Orthogonally add one bishop. Hmm. I don't like this, but I don't think it's a big deal. And I don't really care for this either, but I also would just prefer that to the other one. Oh, we're in threat right now? Just take care of all of those bishops. Oh, there's one left. The pawns not being able to move really is, like, amazing. Because it, it really does, like, I, I, I firmly believe um, part of winning this game, this game, not chess, by the way, this game, <laughs> is uh, basically choking off the offense with as many pawns as you can because it creates a situation that you can better control. Nice. So we're we're 3 away from the boss. There was a lot of a lot of enemy pieces that were destroyed by god there. Add 3 pawns. Okay, f plus 2 firepower. Um we could afford to take this, but pikemen. I'll never take pikemen. I will never do it. That pike, the best, the last thing you want to do is turn your greatest asset into uh, a hindrance. I love being able to move in front of pawns without dying or, or being in threat. So last thing I want to do is make them be able to threaten us. That was amazing. This is going to take a long time to, to wipe out all of the white pieces because we just sniped the king. The greatest things that we have going for us are the fact that the, the, the enemy has to move. If they are able to move, they have to move. Up to three squares in any direction. Uh, eh, charge one additional shell. Queen's moves are limited to three squares, add one queen. I mean, this isn't great, but um, I feel like Wand of Wings would be better for us. 
but being able to load four is quite nice and we have we have the fire arc to um to spare like yeah we don't have sniper shotgun anymore but it's okay it's still good enough it's still enough to like hit our mark honestly the thing that's holding us back right now is not having enough um fire what do you call it range we don't have enough range See, like, the queen basically can't move right now anywhere useful. Oh, the queen is actually somewhere useful right now. And being able to shoot, like, forever is quite nice. Ugh. I can't stand, like... Not being able to do anything. Not being able to fire our shotgun is, is the worst feeling. Okay, let's move here. We're, we're not doing super well in terms of like... Oh, I just realized there's a lot of pawns about to um, obtain victory. Be promoted. Kind of have to stop that. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is a this is not great. I mean, queens are are limited, remember? They they are not in the infallible pieces that we fear. However, that does not mean I want more of them. Okay, we can finally we finally bought ourselves enough space that I could actually attack the king. All right. Yes, yes. All right, boss time. We've 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 kind of done it. I like this is the ideal situation. Cuz we can just like shoot the king as much as we want and we have like the um the ability to fire four times basically get rid of that queen she's like the only thing that could maybe hurt us but there you go we did it we have an easy victory it was, of course, easier than normal. I wouldn't say it's completely without challenge, but we have one. Um, so I guess next we do hard mode. Uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be quite the thing, isn't it? Anyway, uh, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.